Hello and happy Sunday, everybody. This is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com and today is Sunday. It's the Sunday before my birthday, but I'm not gonna sing. Um, today is Sunday, June the 7th, and it is a scorcher in Knoxville today. So um, yeah, Karen and I got our walk-in and it was hot, hot, hot. So if you are in East Tennessee, you know what I'm talking about. It was hot, hot, hot today. Hello, Melissa, hello, Marlene. So we're gonna be saying lots of highs and hellos if you're watching this later on YouTube. It's just youtube.com, search if you have an egg. If you don't want to say hi and hello, just grab that little scroll bar and go on over to about 10 minutes because that's when it dies down. Hello, Barbara, it was good to see you today. And hello, Irma. Yes, Barbara's right, it was hot, hot, hot today. It's still quite toasty outside. And oh, Melissa says it's hot in Houston too. Yeah, I can imagine. So mm -hmm. yeah, this is tangly, sweaty hair. I did at least change tops because I was completely soaking wet. Karen and I just finished, we just finished walking like an hour and 10 minutes ago. Yeah, and I was completely soaking wet, so I did change tops. But anyway, hello, thank you, Sherry. Hello, Mary. Hi, Trish. It was good to see you again today, Trish. Um, but yeah, today is Sunday, June the 7th. Hello, Michelle. And yep, I got it right, June the 7th. I just guessed without looking at my watch the second time. Hello, Mary Ann. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Bar another Barbara. We've got two Barbaras already. Hello, Sherry in Connecticut. So another scorcher today. We got lots of steps in today. Hello, Marlene from wet from wet Florida. Oh, ooh, ooh. Are you on the Gulf side? Are you where the tropical storm is? Hello, Wendy. Hello, Lisa. Oh, Wendy's from upstate New York. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Betty. Hello, Vicky. And thank you for the happy birthday wishes. Hello, Gail. Yes, and hello, Carol Lou. And don't forget, if you're brand new, please say hello because we would love to welcome you. Aloha, Kathy. Hello, Stacy. Hi, Sherry. Some new people, give us a shout out. Hello, another Kathy. I know it's so funny, the Kathy's like, I don't know, y'all must call each other because y'all start coming in all at the same time. Hello, Sandra from Dingman's Ferry. Oh, and Melissa said, is it today? Melissa's parents, 66, 66th anniversary. That is awesome. Happy anniversary, Melissa's parents. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Mary from Canada. Hello, Orlando Debbie. Hello, Paula. Oh, Debbie, uh, Alyssa had on her pink, her pink, um, Mickey hat with the ears today. Yeah, so she's ready to go. She is ready to head down there. Hello, John from um, from home base. John is at home base today, and he's actually liking it because he doesn't have to be quiet. So when I was doing this from home, he was having to tiptoe around and not take phone calls and sneak out the door. Hello, Roberta. Hello, Elaine from Connecticut. Oh, yep, and Debbie says it is wet and rainy in Central Florida. Mm, and Michelle is brand new. So everybody say hello to Michelle. She is brand new. Hello, Janice. Hello, Lisa from New Hampshire. Hello, Paulette from Ohio. Hello, is it Telvina? You'll have to tell me if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Hello, Telvina from Canada. You have to be new because I don't think I've ever said that name before. Yep. Hello, Carla. Oh, oh yeah, and Orlando Debbie saw uh, saw Alyssa at drive-in church. Yeah, she got already peeked it on, um, I guess, Instagram or Facebook and saw that. Hello, Sandy from Northeastern Kansas. And I'm glad y'all are so glad y'all are welcoming Michelle. She is brand new. So anyway, everybody welcome the new people. If you are new, hello, Vesta from Georgia. What part of Georgia? We're not far from Georgia. Yep. Oh, Trish wants to know if we're cooking more delicious foods today because last week's was outstanding. We're not technically cooking anything. We're not technically cooking anything. Um, oh, and Telvina is new. So everybody say hello and I will spell it for you. It's T-E-L-V-I-N-A. So everybody say hello. We are not cooking anything today, but Casey got these in this week, so we get to sample them while she is at drive-in church with Alyssa and Alan. And Alan, yep. Okay, so good. Y'all are saying hello and hey to everybody. So again, I am Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. If you are brand new with us, you can watch this later. So we talk really fast or I talk really fast, and sometimes you all are talking really fast and I'm trying to read what you're saying. So if you are brand new with us, you don't just get one opportunity to watch this. You get two, three, as many as you want, as many opportunities opportunities as you want, opportunities as you want. Oop, and Vest is near Valdosta. Okay, yeah, that's on our way to Florida, so sorry, we can't pop down and see you. Um, but you can get as, have as many chances as you want. So tonight is live. So what you're watching right now on Sunday, June the 7th, between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern is live. Or 
if you miss anything or if we're going too fast or if you're thinking, who's Casey? Who is Alyssa? Who are these people that she's talking about? Because I'll say the same names over and over and over and over and over again. And if you haven't been watching for a little while, it might be a little confusing. You can go back and watch all of these here on the Facebook page. So you are on, you are currently on the If You Have an Egg Facebook page. You can go back and watch them again in our closed group. If you would like to join our closed group, if you're not already in there, you're going to want to search If You Have an Egg Somebody please post the link. We have lots of very, very, very helpful people here. There is no fighting. There is no, um, none of this, you know, in our group. So someone surely here soon will post the link. If you want to be in our closed group, you do have to answer three questions. If you do not answer the three questions, I won't let you in. I will delete your request because I have to know that you're at least interested in this. That does not mean that you have to be an active WW member. Doesn't mean you ever have ever had to be a WW member or that you currently are because times are strange right now, but um, you do have to answer the three questions so we at least know that you're a real human on weird, strange occasion we, occasion we have had, I don't know, just weird people. Don't even know why. Usually it's people trying to advertise and sell stuff, which we really don't do. If you have something that would be helpful to other people, awesome, great, share coupons, share things like that. Um, but people who are trying to sell strange things, you know, so if you don't answer the three questions, you can't get in. And thank you, Orlando Debbie, for sharing that, um, the link. So if you're new, you can watch it there. Or if you're new, you can also, or if you've been here for a while, you also have another opportunity to watch this on ifyouhaveaneg.com. Jessica very faithfully posts this by about Tuesday or Wednesday of each week following the chat. Assuming that I've given her the notes because not every week have I actually written up notes before we get started. So Jessica has been faithfully sharing those every Tuesday, Wednesday-ish, and that is just if you have an egg.com. So if you just go to www.ifyouhaveanegg.com, then you will find the handwritten notes. If you want to see what the homework was, that is always posted there. Um, you can see what last week's homework was. You can see who did their homework. And you can see who got Bravo stickers. So you can go there to see that, or you can watch this on YouTube. It's just youtube.com search if you have an egg. Okay, so after all that public service announcement, let me say Facebook was very, very, very naughty to us last week. Um, Casey had to do a lot of doctoring to the video. Thank you again, Orlando Debbie, before she posted it. So Casey, again, very faithfully every week posts our this chat. So she posts the live chat after she edits a little bit if it's fuzzy, like if the internet gets weird. She does some editing and some prettying up of it, and then she posts it to YouTube, to the to youtube.com search if you have an egg every single week. Last week, Facebook was naughty. It was very naughty. I don't know what was going on, but it was not good to us last week. So let me start this by saying, if we have any other Facebook issues, hang in there. It was giving me a message that it was recording, but that the internet was gone, even though the internet was definitely still on because the phones were still on. You know, everything else was still going. Hello, Teresa from Kentucky. So, I mean, I know the internet was still on. So I don't know what was going on with Facebook. But anyway, so hang in there with us. I actually met with um, one of our friends today who's, who is an IT guy for uh, the Tennessee Department of Transportation. Is that right? We never say it all the way out. We always just say TDOT. But anyway, he is an IT guy with TDOT and he has found a great way, hello Haley, a great way for us to be able to, um, now that we're back in Sunday school, yeah, first time in like, what is it, three months? Anyway, so now that we're back in Sunday school, and Haley, did I actually say hello, or did I just think it in my head? Anyway, hello, Haley. Um, now that we're back in Sunday school, trying to social distance, trying not to have as many people there at a time, so he has come up with a way for us to be able to live stream Facebook Live to those who couldn't make it or who couldn't attend, but it also records at the same time, and it can publish live to a couple of different things. I'm looking hot and heavy into the system that he is using, like to the point that I'm shocked I haven't already ordered it today, other than I just ran out of time. Um, but if we do, if we do order that, a couple of things, and I'll just take up just another minute of your time because I think it's exciting. A couple of things. If I do go ahead and invest in this system, then that means when you watch on YouTube, it will be landscape. Okay, I don't know how many of y'all know this, but when I do this on Facebook Live, it has to be portrait. So you can only see this much. So if I buy this system, and hello Naomi, if I buy this system, it will be, instead of like this, it will be like this. So it will video landscape. So when we post it on YouTube, it won't just be that skinny box that's black on this side and black on this side. You'll be able to see the whole thing. And I can make it follow my face. So like if I come over here, 
or if I come over here, or if I'm over here doing something, it will follow my face so that y'all can stay with me. And he let me do a little test run today. I can actually adjust it so that if I'm standing back here doing something, it's wide. And if, yeah, I know. Okay, so John just posted $5 signs and then said, thanks, Dean. Yeah, because John's like, how much is this gonna set me back? Anyway, but you can zoom in or you can like crop and it would actually like crop in on whatever we're making. You would be able to see it up close. Anywho, super excited about it. Okay, so that is all I'm gonna say about that. And last week was chat number 175. So today is chat number 176, if you can believe it, 176. Um, so chat number 176 and it is take charge of unhelpful thoughts. But back on last week, so who attended and for new people, for new people, if you, oh wait, hold on a second. Very back pack, not six feet apart. Oh, Barbara's talking about going to Bass Pro. Sorry, I thought she was talking about the video. Okay, so new people, you have a little button down here. If you're with us on Sunday night during the live, you have a little button where you can make either a thumbs up and it goes up the screen like this, like you just saw a couple of hearts go by, or you can do hearts. So we only do thumbs ups hearts you can do the new little care um thing you can do the laughing one please no mad ones okay please no mad emoji um but thumbs up is for anyone who attended a zoom meeting last week so if you went to a zoom ww meeting last week go ahead and give me a thumbs up so i see I already see lots of thumbs ups if you attended with us last week it's a heart or if you did both it's a heart some people prefer to comment in the comments. So like Barbara, perfect example. Barbara just did thumbs up heart. She did a bunch of thumbs ups and a bunch of hearts. So that means Barbara did both last week. So good job. Mary, uh, Mary did hearts and thumbs ups. So she did both. Janice did a heart, two thumbs ups. Um, Susie's just joining us. Trish is all thumbs ups. Lynn is both. So yeah, so new people, it's a thumbs up. If you attended a Zoom WW meeting last week, if you attended with us last week, then that would make you not new, but... Anyway, next week you'll know what to do. You do a heart, or if you did both, you do a heart. So, oh, there's a caring one, how sweet. So the caring one, I guess that one was for, for both as well. So lots of you all did, um, did your Zoom meetings last week. Lots of you all did both. Thank you all, thank you for those of you who were here with us last week and for joining us this week. Um, hello, Susie. So we do Bravo stickers. So again, if you're new, here are your Bravo stickers. I know the physical workshops, when we had them, they had stopped giving out Bravo stickers. We still give out virtual, like we've been giving out virtual Bravo stickers before it was cool to give out virtual Bravo stickers. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So we were cool before it was cool. So here are your virtual Bravo stickers for attending. Um, Knoxville ladies, we did get a little bit of news today. This only refers to the Knoxville franchise because we are a WW franchise location and we are not owned by WW, by Weight Watchers International. We are a franchise location. Don't ask me what that means. It just means we have different rules. But Knoxville ladies, they are going to start having, they're gonna start their phase one rollout. So I think it's a week from Thursday. So not this coming Thursday, but the next Thursday, I think is when their phase one rolls out and you will be able to go to the center that's down at Cedar Bluff and weigh in. I think it's on Thursdays and Saturdays. Don't quote me, but that was new news to us today. Um, you know, during during the Zoom meeting. So they are rolling out phase one. Um, Gwen is my leader. So, so that's the Zoom that I go to. And for those of you who are at that Zoom today, hello, in case I didn't get to say hello. I don't like attending it on my phone because then I can't see everybody that's there. But yeah, I know. And uh, Janice says they have canceled their meetings. That makes me so sad. That makes me so sad. Um, Yes, Barbara, it's June, yeah, June 18th. That's when that's going to start. Um, but that is phase one. That is weigh-in only. That does not mean that they are going to have physical workshops. Um, that does not mean they're going to have physical workshops there at the center. So that is weigh-in only. And if you are lifetime, they on in Knoxville. So if you are part of, hello, Sylvia. So if you're part of the Knoxville group or you know, like you're in this area and you're part of this WW franchise, um, if, and if you are a lifetime member, they're gonna waive your weigh-in requirements until through July. So if you're a lifetime, you've got eTools, you can get eTools. If for some reason you don't have eTools, 
contact the center contact the center because you have free e-tools you are covered through july okay that's if you're lifetime if you were paying you're still going to need to pay hello joyce okay so that was a little bit of news on that hello betty so last week we talked about so last week was chat number 175 we've already done our bravo stickers remember you can get those on if you have an egg.com if you want to print them off um so we were talking about make chain make habit change happen i still don't think that rolls off your tongue easy so I don't know whoever made that one up love the topic hello season i love the topic i don't like the way it's i don't like the title make habit change happen i don't think it rolls off your tongue easy doesn't matter last week we talked about taking an end result so a reward or a and we're an end result or a habit whatever you want to call it whatever that end thing is and how to reverse engineer it you know and kind of go backwards and figure out how to make that into a habit and so we were, you know so what we were talking about was taking that end reward whatever whatever that is and then finding a behavior that make that gets you to that reward and then going back even farther and finding a cue that makes you do the behavior that gets you the reward so your homework last week was hashtag habit loop um, and I've got my three favorite ones here. Lots of you did your homework, but we only have time for three tonight. So the first one is Katie. Katie put a picture of sliced lemons. Now I thought it said pitcher, a pitcher, like a pitcher. So the rest of her comment didn't make any sense. I read it three times before I figured out what she was talking about. This was genius. She put a picture, like a picture of sliced lemons on the front of her refrigerator. That was the cue. And it made her, it encouraged her to drink water. Hey, it's time to drink water. Hello, Evie. It's time to drink water. Look, there's my picture of my sliced lemons. It's time for me to drink water. And that was the behavior. And she got all of her water in. Ta-da! There's the reward. How easy was that? She printed off a picture, a picture of sliced lemons. Genius. That was brilliant. Sherry was using waking up as her cue but she was using waking up and before she had her coffee so before she let herself have that first cup of coffee in the morning um she she is that's the, that was her cue is waking up but before coffee she's doing some stretches and drinking water so that's the behavior is stretching you know getting a good stretch in and drinking some water and she got her water goal in and i'm sure she was very limber for the day so that was her reward so she had a cue a behavior and award very good sherry awesome that was a good job um stretching has been mine this week too every time dusty gets ready for bed you know wants to come in for bed every single night every single night it doesn't matter what we've been doing if we've been up down if he's been on the couch asleep whatever it is every night before i put him in the bed he stretches and does a downward dog so that's my cue i made that my cue this week for me to bend over and touch my knees because we've been walking again now that we're opening back up in knoxville we've been walking again and i'm starting to get some you know cramps in my legs so my cue is dusty doing a downward dog i am stretching my legs are not so tight okay lynn is well on her way now lynn's been doing this a long time so lynn if you are there and i'm pretty sure you still are how long have you been a ww member so i know and it's been a long time so lynn is well on her way like she you know she's like she's one of those people that you think man you know she's got this down even as long as she's been doing this though she still still finds new things to do just to keep her you know keep her trucking on so hello terry so lynn is well underway when she sits down to eat that's her cue so she sits down to eat and she thinks huh it is time for me to drink a full glass of water so let's see so so lynn joined january of 2016 and she is killing it she's really killing this so she sits down to eat that's her cue and she's been drinking a full glass of water so that's the behavior so she sits down to eat cue drinks a full glass of water that's the behavior and i know that it's making her full like it's making her more full before she starts eating and she's getting her water in so that is her reward so her cue leads to a behavior leads to a reward so bravo ladies you nailed it again this week hello loretta again this week so here are your bravo stickers very good congratulations on your homework y'all have done an excellent job excellent excellent job okay this week is uh, chat number 176 and it is take charge of unhelpful thoughts so they have to have this one every year they have to have this topic every year because what i'm getting ready to say is why they have to have this one every year so every year i have to be reminded that i don't need to talk bad about myself i wouldn't talk to a friend that way 
no, 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 no. So instead, I need to be saying, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so this week, with this last week they were talking about in taking charge of unhelpful thoughts, um, I know you know people, because I know people, you know people that just wake up grumpy. They wake up in a bad mood, everything's wrong, nobody's ever doing anything right, it's all going to be bad, it's doom and gloom, Eeyore, they have the Eeyore complex, you know, Thanks for noticing me. I guess I'll get ready and go to work. I'll probably have a flat tire. The whole day is going to be bad because I never have a good day at work and it's all going to go wrong and it's Monday again and again and again and again. And you know what those people get? They get Monday over and over and over and over again. You can call it whatever you want to. You can call it karma. You can call it um, you can just call it getting yourself into that habit of being, you know, of, of doom and gloom. Um, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's the truth. It is absolutely the truth. And Teresa says those are toxic people. But sometimes we do it to ourselves. Even if we're not necessarily a toxic person, sometimes we do that to ourselves. Then you also know, or most of us also know somebody that you think, oh my gosh, do they just wake up bathed in sunshine and kittens and rainbows and whatever because they're just like, la la la, everything's wonderful. Oh, I got a flat tire, but at least I didn't have a wreck. And, you know, blah, blah, blah happened. Oh, it rained today, but my flowers are going to bloom. You know, they're just happy about everything. You know, everybody knows somebody who is just absolutely happy about everything. But you know what? Those people that have either been born that way or they figured out how to do it or they figured out how to be, you know, happy and joyful about, you know, about everything. Um, you know what happens? They're happy and joyful about everything. I'm not saying that they can't ever have a bad day. I'm not saying that they don't ever get down in the dumps. But, you know, positive self-speak can lead to positive self-things. You know, if you were meant to have a flat tire today, you're going to have a flat tire today. But what you do about it is what we're talking about today. So, let's just take two, let's take one scenario, one scenario, and let's talk about it two different ways. Two different ways. Okay, I'm sorry, wait. Loretta was, has just been reading a book about feeding your subconscious mind with positive words to reach the conscious mind. And Misty wants to know what book. Yeah, I'd be interested in knowing what book too. And so I've been trying to do that, you know, so on the way in to work every morning, you know, when I'm praying about and for people and, you know, and things, I've been trying to say things, you know, like, we're going to have a good day today. It's going to be a good day today. It's, you know, we're going to, you know, we're going to be blessed. We're going to bless people, you know, whatever, but try, you know, trying to do that, you know, all day. And I will say that when the bad things happen or when there's so many people I can't eat lunch, it does help me not to just go, you know, forget it, you know, throw the towel in. Okay, so we're going to do, we're going to take one scenario, but we're going to talk about it two different ways. So what if you had a friend call you? So what if you had a WW friend, or it doesn't have to be a WW friend, but if you had a friend call you, and I'm going to use something that could, could happen to all of us. So I love Halo Top ice cream. Absolutely love Halo Top ice cream. So what if one of my friends called me? So what if, what if, Karen called me and she said, um, and she said, Kelly, I ate a whole pint of Halo Top. I don't know what happened. I was upset. You know, we've been cooped up. We've been locked in. You know, I had Halo Top. I had every intention of, I had every intention of scooping it out. You know, I even had them, had a measuring spoon out or, you know, I knew that my ice cream scoop was a fourth of a cup. And, um, you know, I had every intention of doing that. And I just sat there with a spoon and I ate the whole pint. You know, if she called me and told me that, or like when we're walking, if she told me that, what do you think I would say to her? What do you think I would say? I would go, it's a pint of halo. It's a pint of halo top. That's what, 11 or 12 points? Halo top for a whole pint is only 11 or 12 points. No big deal. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. Just don't buy another one. You know, next time you go to the store, just don't buy another one. You know, or you were having a bad day. So, you know, so what? It was one pint. You didn't go and get another pint. You didn't buy a half gallon. You know, it was one pint. Write it down. Move on. You know, it's no big deal. We all do it. It happens. Okay. So, sounds great, right? So, you know, Karen's Karen's upset about whatever she's upset about. Doesn't even have to be upset. Maybe she just got lost in her thoughts. And this didn't happen, by the way, Karen. In case Karen's watching, this didn't happen. I am just picked her. I'm picking on her because we walked today. Um, But, you know, it happens. And it happens to everybody. So, but you just encourage somebody and you say, write it down. Not a big deal keep moving. At least it was Halo Top. See, Orlando Debbie just said, at least it wasn't a pint of Ben and Jerry's, LOL, because that would have been, you know, Ben and Jerry's would have been like three times the points. So, you know, it could have been worse. It really could have been worse. You know, it's just a pint of Halo Top. No big deal. But what if we were the ones, yeah, 
did this like two weeks ago. What if we were the ones that ate the pint of Halo Top? Mm, what if it was us? Then what do you say? Then you say, what were you thinking? Why did you even buy Halo Top? You know you can't have it. You know you can't ration it out. You know, you know, you know. Why would you even do that to yourself? Why would you set yourself up like that? And do you hear how different it is? Do you see my face? So a few minutes ago, one of our friends who uh, from here in Knoxville who teaches, and I'm going to do it wrong, Kiki. If you're still here, Kiki, I go ahead. I'm going to apologize now, but it's I think it's sign language. Anyway, her, okay, hold on. Her husband, is that right? That That's a friend. Anyway, I don't know. Husband, I don't know. Kiki, you're going to have to tell me what I'm doing wrong. Anyway, he, he was our, he was one of our teachers of sign language, and they talked to us every single time about your eyebrows, about talking to people with your eyebrows. So if you notice, if you notice when I was talking to the friend, so when I was talking to Karen, you know, about eating the pint of ice cream, I was like, no big deal. You know, my eyebrows are happy. You know, it's a forgiving face. You know, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. But when I was talking to myself, when I was beating myself up over the same thing, over the same thing that I just talked to Karen about, then my eyebrows were furrowed. Can you see that? See how, see what angry eyebrows those are? So when you talk to yourself, it's a totally different, you know, you know, mindset. Why? Why? So we've talked about this in the past. We've talked about it over and over and over again. So this self talk. So how we're talking to ourselves, um, you know, we've got to start talking to ourselves like we would a friend. So if to practice, if it helps, if you stop before you say anything to yourself, before you fuss at yourself, if it helps you to stop and call a friend, go ahead and confess it, call a friend, tell your husband if, you, if they're, you know, good listeners, if they're good talkers, um, you know, call, call somebody, call somebody, text somebody, get on connect, you know, get in our group. Um, if you have an egg, the, um, you know, our closed group, because this is an amazing bunch of ladies, you know, and we've had people that have, you know, have just, you know, have had some little hiccups. They're just hiccups. It's okay. But if it helps call somebody, you know, turn yourself in, um, first, then, I'm gonna say, write it down. So whatever they told you, if you are not in the habit yet of being able to give yourself the same positive self-talk that you would have given to somebody else, then call somebody, turn yourself in, and then write down what they said. Write it down, just write it down like on a three by five card, like an index card, jot it down on a post-it note, You know, just jot it down on something, and then put it somewhere that you'll see it. So that when it happens again, you can go, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, back it up. Before I start beating myself up, what was it? Hey, Janice, what was it that she told, what was it that she said to me? She said, it's okay. It really is, you know, it really is okay. It really is okay. Just do, you know, like do a reality check. You know, did that ruin the rest of your life? Did eating one pint of Halo Top ice cream, did that ruin your, the rest of your life? No, the reality check is it was 11 or 12 points. You know, the reality check is it did not blow the rest of your week. The reality check is, you get a new day tomorrow and the next day and the next day, you know, so you can start over again in the morning with a fresh slate. No big deal. So that's the reality check. Then what else did she say? Oh, she said to, to write it down. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I could go ahead and track it. So it didn't ruin the rest of my day, maybe, but it didn't ruin the rest of my week. It sure didn't ruin the rest of my journey. So, um, so right, you know, so it's okay, so I'll do that. And then I'll track it. Hmm, because if I track it, then maybe I'll remember next time, ooh, if I eat the whole pint, that's gonna be 11 or 12 points. But what I could do the next time I'm feeling like that is I could split a banana and I could put two scoops on the banana because two scoops would be like two, three, depending on the halo top, two, three, four points. Um, and maybe I could put something else on top of it, like a cherry or something, or a little whip topping, a little light whip topping for another point, and then I could have a big banana split. So maybe I could do that next time. But do you see what I'm saying? Instead of just beating yourself up, because if you beat yourself up, then you feel bad. And I don't know if you're like me, but when I beat myself up and I feel bad, it makes me go, fine, well, I've already messed up. I might as well go eat a bag of potato chips too and get some more Halo Top, you know, and whatever. Okay, so that is your homework for this week. Your homework for this week is hashtag self-talk. So I want you to tag me. You always tag me, always, 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 and y'all are doing a great job of it. If you're doing this on YouTube, you just type. You're just commenting after the video. If you are doing this in the Facebook page, 
you're you're gonna ha you're going to tag at if you have an egg so that I see it so that I for sure see it and I can comment on it um, and I can give you your Bravo sticker um, if you and in case I didn't give out the Bravo stickers for everyone who did their homework last week here you go because I think I forgot to give them out um, if you are tagging me in our closed group it is it is at you know the at symbol at um, Kelly Green Milligan and before you get the green typed it'll pop up if you are commenting on connect it is at scrap and stamp two s c r a p n s t a m p and the number two um and if you are commenting on if you're going to do it if you're going to um tell me your homework on if you have an egg.com you just type you just type a comment okay so but it is self talk so it is hashtag let me write it down so so we can print this for everybody so when jessica um prints the notes you'll have it but it is hashtag self talk so what I want you to do when you're when you're talking, I want you to write down like you're talking like you're talking to a friend, but it's to yourself. Okay, that doesn't mean you have to mess up something this week. It doesn't mean that you have to screw up. It doesn't mean that something has to go bad. But just think, maybe you can think about the last time that something didn't go, go so well. You know, like um, who was it? Was it Sylvia that had been at the ballpark? I think it was Sylvia that had been at the ballpark. You know, and the first day back, it was. She said she hadn't been out in a couple of months. You know, she got a little carried away at the ballpark. Okay, so big deal. We've all been trapped in our houses. So, you know, no big deal. Thank you, Carol Lou, for posting that, by the way. You know, so it was no big deal. And guess what? Because she confessed what happened, people gave her some positive feedback. Then the next time she went to the ballpark, much better experience. Much better experience. So, hashtag self-talk. Go ahead. Um, go ahead and tag me in, you know, in that, and I want you to post something that either has already happened, something that's happened in the past, something that's happened recently, or if it happens during this week, go ahead and do it. But just go ahead and type in there, you know, hashtag self-talk, and then write down, type down. You can write it down and post a picture because y'all know how much I love things written and do that, do that, do doodled whatever stickers you know whatever if you want to do that write it on a three by five card um put it in your notebook put it on a stick it note you know put it on your computer whatever you want to do so hashtag self-talk um i do want to see your homework um we will explain it again on if you have an egg.com when we get that posted and casey will have the video posted um sometime tomorrow okay Whew, i keep looking at the clock because i want to show you all what casey bought and i wanted to make sure that i left plenty of time so I'm going to take a quick break. If you are brand new with us, hang out. This is the second half of the chat. If you were just here to find out what the homework was, bye-bye. If you were just here to find out what we talked about at WW last week, see you later. But if you want to do something fun, hang out with us for the next 27 to 35 minutes, depending on how long I talk. Um, yes, and Barbara, it is time for my water. So, Barbara, we're going to jump right in because my water has something to do with what we were talking about in the second half of the chat. So I have here, so I'm gonna take my break. My break is just gonna be this. Okay, and we are back. This is the second half of chat number 176, Take Charge of Unhelpful Thoughts. And so we were just talking about, in the first half, we were talking about how to talk to, to yourself, how to do some hashtag self-talk so that you can talk to yourself more positively. I'm going to show you what Casey bought for us this week, and this is going to allow me to do some hashtag self-talk, to have some, you know, some positive um, self-speak, because I've been really, 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 really working on my water, and this is going to help out. Okay, so this is a really cool Tervis tumbler that Popsicle got for me, and so this is super cute, right, with the limes and the lemons cut up in it. So that is what I put in my water this week. But before I take a sip of my water, Casey bought us all of these skinny syrups. So we're going to talk about skinny syrups in just a second. But this one is the Meyer Lemon. It is Meyer Lemon Raspberry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, and thank you. Loretta says I could tell you lost weight, Kelly. Thank you. And part of it's walking. And um, part of it is because my... It's getting, you know, muscles are smaller. Even though they weigh, you know, a pound is a pound is a pound. They take up less space. Okay, so this one is the Meyer Lemon Raspberry. So we're going to talk about skinny syrups in just a second. Okay, so just hang on for a second because I didn't get my water break because I wanted to show you this. So this is just a Tervis tumbler, and it has water in it. It has spring water because I prefer spring water, and it has cut up lemons and limes. So I did not squeeze them. 
I didn't squeeze them. They're, they've just been sitting in here. So they've been sitting in here and sitting in the refrigerator for probably an hour, you know, before the chat. This is Skinny Syrups Meyer Lemon Raspberry. So I love lemons. I love lemonade. I love the way it tastes. But when I'm having, if I'm having like Crystal Light Lemonade, or if you've ever done one of those um, freestyle machines, I don't know who makes those. But anyway, if you've ever done a freestyle machine, you can mix and match things. So you can do like a vanilla Coke and you can do vanilla Diet Coke and you can do cherry and vanilla and something, 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 whatever. So on those, I always do a little bit of Diet Raspberry Lemonade and then I fill up the rest of my cup with regular Diet Lemonade. So because Casey got us the skinny syrups, I have been soaking lemons and limes in my water and it has a little bit of Sonic ice in the bottom. And if you don't have Sonic, bless your heart bless your heart so i'm gonna put one two three pumps and you're just gonna pump it to taste so i'm gonna put three pumps of skinny syrups meyer lemon yeah i know teresa i'm getting ready to tell you all i am getting ready to tell you all all of this i'm getting ready to tell you all all of this okay so hold your questions please because i'm gonna tell you all the things okay so now, look how pretty it is. Can you see how pink it is now? It's not super pink though, because I don't like, like, um, like if I met you drink Gatorade or Powerade or Kool-Aid or anything like that, I always cut it with some water because I don't like it to be super, super thick. So you can do this, you know, to your, to your taste. And I'm going to answer all the questions in just a second about what it's made out of and what it has in it and blah, blah, blah. <gasps> Susie said, what is Sonic? Are you serious? Okay. You have to let me take my water break. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, Casey. Casey, this one's mine. I'm not gonna let you have it. Oh my gosh, this is good. Mm. Pardon me while I drink this whole thing. Oh, so good. So good. Okay, so Susie says, Susie says, what is Sonic? Um. Sonic is, I don't know, it's a fast food chain, but they have that little teeny, 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 tiny pellet ice, which actually I have some here. Sonic ice is the best. So if you can see this, if you can see this, it's little teeny, tiny, it's like, I call it rat poop ice because it's just little tiny ice. Okay, and Loretta didn't wanted to know, can you, can you buy these from me? Not yet. So I do have an email in to the skinny syrups people to find out if we can, you know, if we, if we can carry these. So if we can, obviously I'll let you know. If we can't, then I will give everybody a link, you know, for, um, for you know, of where to order. So the first question, the first question that I had um, when we got these was, was how many different flavors do they have? I have no idea. I have no idea. There's a ton of them. There's a ton. And so I did not go through the whole, through the whole website. Oh my gosh, bless your hearts that don't have Sonic. But anyway, okay. So I have no idea how many there are all together. Okay. The next question I got was, um, like, well, there's a whole bunch of questions and I will preface this by saying we only, Casey only ordered skinny syrups. So they have skinny syrups. They have skinny mixes. They have um, whipped foam. They have a shelf stable milk now for people that have been having trouble getting, you know, trouble finding milk. Um, so they have all of that. So we only ordered, Casey only ordered skinny syrups. So everything I'm getting ready to say is only skinny syrup related, not skinny mixes, not foam, and not the shelf stable milk. Okay. So what are they sweetened with? They are sweetened with sucralose. So the skinny syrups are sweetened with sucralose. The skinny mixes, which we did not buy, also, also sucralose. Um, and the natural and keto syrups, which I have not checked those out, have stevia, monk fruit, and erythritol, which I cannot pronounce, um, in there. So these are sucralose. So if you have problems with any artificial sweeteners, you know, you're just gonna have to watch it. Like I will be able to, I will be able to, I will tell you, I will not be able to use a huge amount of these every single day. Not, you know, not every single day. Of course, I'm not planning on using them every single day. And a serving, so the next question was, what's a serving size? A serving size is two ounces. Okay, this is, I'm sorry, it's an ounce. So this, 
that line on this jelly jar, that is two ounces. So a serving is a half of that. That's a lot. So what I put what I put in my um, in my water was about half of that. So you know, so I mean, it'll if I drink it twice a day, that would be one serving a day. So anyway, so it's super low. A serving size is one ounce. Um, how many calories? Zero calories. How many how many fat grams? Zero grams of fat. How much sodium? Zero because sodium's always the next question I get. Zero sodium. How many carbohydrates? Mm, you guessed it. Zero. How many pumps are a serving? I don't know. We'll probably find out here in just a second. Um, I have not. Um, I have not. You know, I haven't. Che you know, checked on that. And Teresa says she's out on the sucralose. So there will be some of you who will not be able to drink these. And I am sorry. I am so sorry. There are some things I can't have. Like I cannot have anything. Um, I can't have anything carbonated. So for those of you walking around drinking Diet Coke, hmm. I'll, I'll have to drink this instead. Um, but, you know, there's always going to be one of us who can't have, you know, something. So if you are um, if you are sensitive to sucralose, I'm sorry. You might want to check out their naturals and keto, the naturals and keto syrups. Um, if you are sensitive to sodium benzoate, I have a very dear friend who has Crohn's disease and she has oral, she has Crohn's all, all the way through, stem to stern. She also has oral Crohn's. And she cannot have sodium benzoate. So everything she drinks, tastes, puts on her mouth, lip balm, whatever, she has to look at the label on everything. And if it has sodium benzoate in it, she cannot have it. So if you are sensitive to sodium benzoate, I looked at them. And it appears that every single one of them has it. Um, they also have artificial colors in them. So I would just say, oh, it's 50. What? Trish says it's 50 flavors. No wonder I gave up before I, before I saw all of them. But anyway, so... For those of us that are cool with sucralose, cool with sodium benzoate, and cool with artificial colors, we're good to go. So we're going to keep talking. The rest of y'all, sorry. Okay, the next question was, are they dairy-free? Yes, there is no milk in any of these. Now, they do have a shelf-stable milk. The shelf-stable milk has dairy in it because it's shelf-stable milk. There is also dairy in the cookie dough syrup um, and the whipped foam. So everything we got is a skinny syrup and it is a fruity flavor, I'm gonna call it. Um, but um, the cookie dough syrup and the whipped foams are do have, you know, dairy products in them. All the rest of them are dairy free and, and should, you know, and should be vegan just because they don't have, you know, any other ingredients in them. Okay, so the flavors that we got, Casey ordered for us raspberry, she ordered pumpkin caramel. I have not opened those two, so I cannot tell you what the raspberry and the pumpkin caramel taste like. We just tried, or I'm sorry, she got us um, strawberry watermelon, which we're going to try here in just a second. We just tried the Meyer lemon ri raspberry. That Meyer lemon raspberry is the one that I put in this. Okay, but let's go ahead and try the watermelon. So, this is strawberry watermelon. Strawberry watermelon. And this was three pumps. So three pumps is just under that is just right at that one ounce line. So it appears that three pumps is about an ounce. Um, and this is just straight up. So you probably are not going to drink this straight up. I'm just trying these for you. Okay. And Loretta, the reason I did not open the pumpkin caramel, A, I had already opened all, these are all Casey's. These are not mine. And I had already opened all the rest of them. And I thought, you know, if I do the, if I open the pumpkin caramel, I'm gonna wanna make, make coffee. And I just need to stick with this. So this one is the strawberry watermelon. Mmm, and it tastes like a Jolly Rancher. I'm gonna say that tastes like a Jolly Rancher. That is, that is, that is really nice. So that is strawberry watermelon. The Meyer Lemon Raspberry we just tried. This one is called Unicorn Dreams. So I thought that one was pretty hilarious. Unicorn Dreams is perfect for cocktails, champagne, water, lemonade, and more. And it says, add a burst of sweet and sour blue raspberry frosting. Unicorn flavor to your favorite beverage. Okay, it says, perfect for cocktail, champagne, tea, sparkling water, lemonade, and mocktails. Okay, let's try this one. Hmm, it's, it's very sweet. 
Wow, that's very sweet. Yee. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, you're definitely going to put this one in something because that is, wow, that's sweet. Um, it's good, but it's very sweet. Okay, this one is dragon fruit acai, and we are going to make something out of this in just a second. So, but this one is dragon fruit acai. It is flavor infusion. Infuse your favorite beverages and fruits with all the flavor and fun you love without the unwanted calories and sugar. Um, looks delicious. Smells good. And Susie says, do they come with the pump? Casey, I think, she, I think her order came with like three pumps or four pumps and then she ordered extra pumps. And it is, they are skinny syrups, Janice. Skinny syrups. Yeah, and Haley says, I only use one pump of the unicorn. I can tell why. It's, it's sweet. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. It's not flowery. That's good. The dragon fruit acai is, that's really good. I like that one. I can tell we're going to be using this one a lot. And we're going to actually use it to make something in just a second. Then we have mango. So this one is just mango. So it is mango. It says, you know, the, add the flavor again. Skip the guilt and add a flavor to your favorite tea, co teas, cocktails, lemonade, juices, smoothies, and dessert drinks. And it, and it has a recipe for a mango, mango yogurt smoothie on the back. Mm, that's really smooth. It's a very smooth mango flavor. Like it's, it's smooth. I don't know what else to call it. It's more like... I know it's mango, but it's like you bit into a fresh peach. So it's not, you know what I mean? It's not a whatever flavor. And we're, we're going to use this to make something again here in just a second. And then the next one is mermaid. And mermaid is tropical citrus flavor boost. And we're going to make something with the mermaid here too. Hopefully we'll have enough time to make all three of these. So, or the two more. So the mermaid bubbles. You can top a glass of champagne with one tablespoon of mermaid skinny syrup. I don't drink champagne because I can't have carbonated drinks, but that sounds delicious. Oh, yeah. That tastes like the beach. Okay, so if you all know what I'm talking about, that tastes like the beach. That is awesome. Okay, I have a feeling mermaid. I have a feeling mermaid's going to be, yeah, that's going to be one of my favorites. Okay, and then... We have coconut, but I, it's just plain coconut, but I'm saving that. I am saving that for something else. So that's the very last one. That's the very last one that we're going to try. Okay. And yes, somebody's talking about Greek yogurt. That was the first thing I thought of. I didn't have not put it in Greek yogurt, but that was one of the first things I thought of. Okay. So these did not turn out in time for the chat. Um, so first thing I thought of, popsicles. You know, after I thought of the Greek yogurt. So popsicles. So all I did was put, and no, Loretta, I did not spike that skinny syrup, but if you, if you do consume alcohol, which I don't, that would be delicious. Um, these are just fruit. They're just fruit. One pump of four different flavors of skinny syrups in them, and then I added to the top of each one this white is coconut milk. It's just plain old coconut milk, and plain old coconut milk no extra sugar, no extra fat in it, just plain old coconut milk that comes in a carton like you would drink. So not coconut milk in a can, not sweet and condensed if it comes that way, coconut milk. So we're not talking about coconut milk, like coconut, I don't even know what you'd call that. We're not talking about the kind that comes in a can that you would make like a coconut pie with. This is coconut milk in a carton. So I put that on top. So that makes it like one point each. Yeah, and Dusty is snoozing. Loretta wanted to know if Dusty wanted some, but he is snoozing. Okay, so the brand is, so Susan wants to know the brand. So it is Skinny Syrups. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to make, make though, I already made the lemonade. And we have time to make two more things. So the second thing that I'm going to make, because I can't pull the popsicles out because they didn't quite, they didn't quite come turn out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to make is, so... Starbucks, and I guess I can say Starbucks. Starbucks has a drink called a, it's like a mango dragon fruit refresher or something like that. So I thought, hmm, how good would that be to take 
the dragon fruit acai. So we're gonna take that one. And we're gonna take the mango. So I am going to put a little bit of ice in a glass. And since this is such a little glass, because remember, it's just me here. I have to drink all this before I go home. So we're gonna put just a little bit of ice in a glass. And we're gonna pretend like we're at Starbucks. And I had, so this was two, um, this was two pumps of the dragon fruit acai. And I took a tiny little sip out of it. But that's two pumps of the dragon fruit acai. Then I'm gonna take two pumps of the mango, one, Two, and I feel like the Petal Java is doing this. Maybe just a little bit more ice. That's not quite enough ice in there. Okay, just a little bit more ice. And then I'm gonna take, so this is two pumps of dragon fruit acai, two pumps of mango, and it is Jordan Skinny Syrups. And then I'm gonna take a, so this is already open. Then I'm gonna take A half a cup of coconut milk it's not quite a half a cup of coconut milk and that is two smart points and I'm gonna add it to that Ooh, and I just oh look at that perfect the first try I got that perfect the first try so look at that look how pretty that is and of course I did not bring myself a straw over here hold please So these are mermaid straws that Casey and I have. And it's about, and Carol wants to know how much it is if you don't have a pump. So it's about, it's just under an ounce. Yeah, and I'm, yeah, because you know, I don't have enough jobs. I don't have enough jobs in Orlando, Debbie, so I'm gonna become a barista. Okay, so let's see how this tastes. And you could add some sliced fruit to that if you wanted to. Do not get the coconut milk in a can. Do not. That is for making pies and things, for making coconut cream pie. That's like coconut cream. You want coconut milk. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm not upset about having to drink this before I go home. Not upset at all. Okay, we only have seven minutes, so let's make the last one. If I can make myself quit drinking that. Oh, my gosh, that's good. Ah, holy cow, that's good. Okay, so that's two pumps of mango, two pumps of dragon fruit acai, and about a half a cup of coconut milk and somehow just enough ice. Okay, and we're gonna make noise with the last one. So in the last one, I have already added, I have already added two pumps of just the regular coconut, of the Skinny Syrups regular coconut, two pumps of that. And let me just tell you, I don't know why Casey ordered this one. She's not a big fan of coconut. Oh, my goodness. Oh, question I forgot to answer. Do these have to be refrigerated? The skinny syrups do not have to be refrigerated. Skinny syrups do not have to be refrigerated. The skinny mixes do need to be refrigerated to keep the flavor. Okay, and then, so I have two pumps of coconut, which smells heavenly. Two pumps of the coconut. Then I'm gonna put in two pumps of the mermaid because remember the mermaid is the tr uh, tropical citrus flavor boost. So I'm gonna put in two pumps of the mermaid and then I'm gonna put in, this is about about two to three points worth of fruit on WW if you, um, if you count your blended fruit, which I do, get out of there. So this is about two points. Come on, because I've already counted you. So I want you out of there. Does anybody else do that? You lick your containers and things because you've already counted the points for it. And so you fight with the food to make sure that it gets out. There we go. So there's that. And then I'm gonna add another half a cup of coconut milk. And Barbara wanted to know what brand the coconut milk was. I got it at Food City, so it's full circle. You can also get So Delicious has coconut milk. Um, and this was full circle. Okay, so I'm gonna add that. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of ice. And you can really, you can add 
more or less, you know, depending on how, depending on how you want your consistency to turn out. Okay, I'm going to make just a little bit of noise. I'm going to go over here and blend this real quick. I will be right back. alcohol this already smells like it can use some rum <laughs> oh this smells so good oh my gosh this smells good okay and you know the little piece of mango that I was spotting with in the glass cup it's still in the bottom it refuses to be consumed anyway I'll deal with that later so how delicious does that look? So again, two pumps of coconut, two pumps of mermaid, which this is going to be gone super fast. A little cup like this of some frozen fruit, and it had mango, strawberry, and pineapple in it. Um, half a cup of coconut milk, and then some ice. Hi, Mary Jo, and thank you, Deborah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is totally, totally a pina colada. Totally minus the rum. Okay. Anyway, so I hope you all enjoyed my taste test of Casey's Skinny Syrups. Again, they are Jordan's Skinny Syrups. I have a request in to see if we can carry them here at Casey Kitchen Center. So I'll let you know if we do. Regardless whether we can or not, whether we can carry them or not, um, I will put a link, we'll put a link on the chat when Jessica posts that to if you have an egg.com for where you can buy them. Absolutely delicious. Zero points, zero calories, zero fat, zero sodium, zero, zero carbs are uh, sweetened with sucralose. Um, most of them are vegan. Most of them are dairy free. Uh, they are shelf stable. They do not have to be refrigerated um, after you open them because these are the skinny syrups. Anyway, have an amazing week. I'm actually going to let y'all go three minutes early because y'all have been so good. You have been so good tonight that class is going to be dismissed three minutes early. I'm going to go ahead and get cleaned up. I can't decide which one to drink. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm going to drink this one first because it was delicious. I'm not willing to throw it away. And then, John, you're just going to have to wait on me to get home because I'm drinking that before I hit the car. So, everybody have a great week. Don't forget to do your homework. Don't forget to do hashtag self-talk. Um, I will see you all next week. You've been great again. If you are watching this on YouTube, please go ahead and watch the next video that's going to pop up right here. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Why not? If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and click this little button right here. If you're watching this on YouTube, please click this little button right here and it will take you to the place where you subscribe and be sure to check that little bell so that you'll know, be notified every time we have a video. And if you want to order a spread shirt, they are right over here. So good night, everybody. I hope you have a great week. And if you buy any of these, I want to know what you do with them because there's 50, apparently 50 different flavors. Yeah. So we're never going to run out of ideas, but y'all have a great week and I will talk to you next Sunday. Good night. Good night, everybody. Oh, and I scared Dusty. Sorry. Good night. Good night.